This Milton Street three-bedroom, two-bathroom home in Nanaimo's Old City was listed at just under $680,000, and it got two bids over asking, leading to an accepted offer. Well, we had a lot of showings and a lot of people come to the open house, so we're very happy with that, and, and uh, we're just fingers crossed that the offer that we accepted will go through. According to stats from the Vancouver Island Real Estate Board, this is more of an outlier, with properties generally taking about 15% longer to sell than one year ago. Our inventory levels right now are the highest they've been in the past five years, and we're sitting at about 4,400 active listings. A year ago, we were 25% lower than that. So we do see inventory building because sales haven't caught up with the increase in new listings coming into the marketplace. It's awesome for buyers. They've got a lot more selection. The board's head says sales prices have generally been steady, but after a slower summer, it now feels more like a typical spring. We had three interest rate adjustments earlier this year, and we thought the market might take off a little sooner, but it waited till fall to do that. You're getting a sense that the market is taking off now? It seems to be a little bit stronger, but uh, a lot of the sellers still need to consider how their home is priced within the market conditions for their particular neighbourhood. But adding uncertainty is the provincial election. The three parties have outlined different housing policies that will have impacts on the market. So we're hearing from a lot of people right now that they're just waiting to see which way both our local elections and the U.S. elections are going to go before they make their next move. And while there has been housing price drops in other parts of the country, one agent says baby boomers are still moving to central Vancouver Island. So we have people moving here with money that's really mitigating any of that downward pressure on pricing. I think that's unique to this area. A mix of opportunity and uncertainty with expectations of further interest rate cuts on the way.